Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you switch factory defaults. So if you want to add a new switch from your inventory to the existing topology, it is always better to reset the switch into switch factory defaults. Why? Because the previous configurations of that switch, particular switch, should not affect our running uh, network or cre and create the conflicts. So how do we do that? Let's dive into the video. So here, I'm having a switch, okay? I'll just give enable and then I'm into the privilege mode. So I will say show VLAN brief. Once I give this command, I've already created few VLANs. So I'll just give the right command so that it is saved in the startup configuration. Now, uh, how do we do the switch factory defaults? First, we have to erase the erase the startup configurations. Okay. Confirm. So now we have deleted the startup configuration. After that, we have to delete the VLAN database from our flash memory. So VLAN database. Delete file. Yes. Confirm. Give yes. After that, just give reload. Confirm. Yes. Once you give that, the system will again start the booting process. And then we will directly come to the system configuration mode. That means it will be like a new switch. There will be no configurations, nothing. Now you can add, uh, put the switch into VTP uh, transparent mode and then you can add it to the existing topology. Okay, your system is booting. You can see. Now it will directly come to system configuration mode. Here you can see, wait. Self decompressing the image. There you go. So now you got system configuration dialog. So here you can give no. And then enable. Now you say show VLAN brief. See, you will not see any VLAN. So basically, this switch is like a new switch. We can add it to the existing topology. Basically, this is how you will reset the switch into factory devolves before adding it to the existing topology. If you find this video helpful, please do like, share and subscribe for more networking videos. Thank you very much.